All right, good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. Today, I'm going to be covering the Tier 9 Tech 3 Destroyer, the Z46, in the Tech Trial series. So here we are, talking about a Tier 9 Destroyer, which is available for free, of course. It's a Tech 3 ship um, inside the German uh, Tech 3 Destroyers. Of course, these are not the Elbing line. It's in the Z52 line, so it's right here. Um, you go up Mass. Z23, and then you have the Z46. I think the Z46, by the way, is a wonderful ship. That's why I want to cover it today. Um, but I think we should start off, well, before we start off the video, um, of course, as you guys know, I'm recording this at 1440p. I'm going to try to be recording every single one of my videos at 1440p. The only videos that aren't going to be available at 1440p are Twitch highlights, because those are taken from Twitch, so those are 1080p by force, because I upload the streams on Twitch at 1080p. And also, uh, wow, slow compilations, those are also at 1080p, because those are taken from Twitch. But real videos, for example, like Tech Trials, Final Thoughts, um, Thought Process, or um, Fresh Look, those are all going to be at 1440p from now on. So for those of you who have a monitor that can run 1440p, and you have internet that's enough for 1440p, you should be able to see a crisper and a nicer, sharper maybe video than maybe you would a year ago from now. Um, but um, this was the second actually video at 1440p. The first one was the Ragnar video I posted like a week ago. But well, that's pretty much it. Um, please do let me know if the video quality does look better. If it does look nicer, at least for some of you guys. Obviously, you can still run the video at 1080p or lower if your internet isn't maybe good enough or your monitor isn't 1440p. So for you, for you guys, the content doesn't really change at all. But anyway, like I said, guys, if you would like to request a ship for this series, please do let me know in the comments. I will try my best to cover it in the future. For this series, remember it's Tech 3 Ships Tier 9 and below. Like I said, so for this series, Tech 3 Ships Tier 9 and below. For Fresh Look, it's Premium Ships Tier 9 and below. Then we have Final Thoughts, that's a review thing, so I wouldn't really recommend you guys ask me to cover something in that. And then we have the Thought Process, which I covered specifically Tier 10 Ships, Tech 3 Specials, everything. I'll cover them in that series. That's pretty much it for now. And let's get into the Z46. Um, game or whatever, well, the video. Alright, so let's take a look at the Z46. So let's start off with the armor layout, just to show you that it doesn't have any armor. It's all 19mm armor, so it doesn't really have anything. Um, it's all penable by pretty much everything, except maybe Fen Young stock, but Fen Young literally has no pen. Next, we're gonna move over to the commander build. I have preventative maintenance, last stand, survivability expert, concealment expert, adrenaline rush, Main battery and a specialist and main battery and a expert plus grease the gears um, And then for my equipment, I'm running main battery mod 3 concealment system mod 1 prop mod 1 aiming system mod 1 Engine boost mod 1 and main armaments mod 1 And for the premium camo you have this available of course, which is the it's quite nice. I guess um, it's, I just bought it. It's 200 doubloons. I just bought it. It looks quite cool, I guess. I'm just using this one. You have your alternate, which looks like this. Which kind of looks cool, I guess, too. But I prefer the normal one, for sure. Um, in terms of the ship characteristics, I'll cover them right now. If you want to skip straight to the game, you can go ahead. I'm going to cover the ship's characteristics right now. So we don't have to do it in the middle of the match. So, for survivability, we have 23,050 HP. So, quite... Quite good for tier 9. Artillery, we have 6 128mm guns with a 3.3 second reload. And of course 1.5k alpha on the HE, 8% fire chance. But most importantly, it's the penetration you get on these 128s. As you know, 128s don't normally pen 32. Not even Worcester's 152s pen 32. But German destroyers, of course, get improved HE penetration. And here you're going to have 32mm pen, which is going to be really useful when fighting certain ships, battleships. Even cruisers, of course, you pen their 30. So this is going to be very useful for you. So it's super nice. And your AP damage is 3,000. Not too bad. And your maximum gun range here is 13.2 kilometers because I am taking the... Main battery and a expert, of course. Um, in terms of torpedoes, we have 10 kilometer torps. We have eight of them. Um, not really crazy torps, to be honest. They do 14.4k damage, 67 knots, 10 kilometers, and they reload every 90 seconds. Their detection is 1.4 kilometers. Depth charges, they're ship based. 
you launch 12, so if you're over a submarine and he's guaranteed under you, you're going to obviously be launching a lot. They do 2.2k damage each, so not too high, but you have a lot of them. That's kind of nice. But obviously, they, they you have to have the submarine right under you. Um, a defense, really not good. Obviously, it's not good. It's a German destroyer. These things don't have good AA. Maybe the Elbing line, but I wouldn't even call them good AA. And they have the FA. This doesn't have the FA. The AA is not that good. Maneuverability. 39.4 knots, so quite a fast destroyer, to be honest. Of course, you have the ability to use speed boost from straight. 8% uh, buff, of course. So they do go quite fast. They're not slow ships at all. Um, rudder shift time, 4.5. Turning circle radius, 670. And then for concealment, 5.9 kilometer detection. Which is quite good, I must say. It's quite good detection um, for the ship, especially since you get a hydro. That's 5.5. Five? No, 5.0. Okay, so you have 5.0 concealment or hydro range, which isn't too bad because you have 5.9 detection. Plus, hydros are obviously really useful, especially when you're in smoke. Now, the smoke on this thing isn't too wonderful. Um, it doesn't last a long time, obviously. Uh, 73 seconds. Um, reload time is 152. So, well, <laughs> you're going to have a lot of downtime between smokes. And you only have three smokes with this build. You could run um si if you want but i don't really don't know what you're gonna trade out you could trade out the guns i guess or the i wouldn't take out the range because the range is really useful on z46 but i'll show you why soon let's go into our game all right so here we are on trap domination um let's see so three cap, triple cap of pc because it's domination so i'm going to be going to the c cap here so what do we have on the enemy team let's take a look georgia john barbie bismarck Sharnhorst, rook Rune, San Diego, Albemarle, Mogador, Friesland, Gagaro, Mahan. Alright, so the scariest thing I would say for us is the Friesland because he has Hydro. Obviously, if we get caught by the San Diego, it could hurt us. Um, Albemarle could hurt us with HE. We aren't really a tiny destroyer, to be honest. We're quite large. That's why we do have a lot of HP. But it's not one of the biggest destroyers in the game. So you're definitely not, like, the easiest target to hit ever. Plus, you're quite fast, so it's not too bad. But I think I'm going to be going towards the sea cap and seeing what we can actually find and maybe I'll put damage on. Actually, maybe not straight into the sea cap. Maybe between B and C would be would be a bit better. Just to see maybe, I don't know, maybe there's nothing at C. We can just quickly rotate the B, for example. So I'm going to go in this general direction, see what we can do. All right, so here we are super aggressive in mid. Um, obviously, we spotted nothing yet, as you can see from our mini-map. Um, but we're trying to find... Anything really and truly. We're trying to see if we can find anything so we can shoot it. Um, now we don't really want to aggress too much beyond this point. Because if we do, well, we're going to be at risk of, I don't know, being spotted, shot at, etc. So let's just chill here maybe. So the jump bar is pushing up, which is going to be quite nice for us. One of the issues with jump bar versus us is he has a reload booster. So he can reload boost HE us. And we're going to have to keep keep that in mind. Try to not die to him very quickly, right? So, Jambar has his turrets pointed this way, so we can't really open up on the Albemarle yet. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe we could go into C cap and just hide or something, maybe. Or we could go into B cap and kill the Mahan. Both are options. Both are options. But since we have more ships on, on C instead of B, maybe we just go into the C cap and see what we can do maybe with our Kitakaze. And see, I'm going to click a 5 on him. Maybe he does come into the cab with me, and then we can see what we can do. Now, the problem is, it could be a freeze in C, but it's unlikely, because it was there fast. So it's probably a Kagero, which means he does outspot us. And since he outspots us, well, we're not going to be able to hydro him for a while, right? Unless we push into him. Now, Kagero's detection is, I would say, if I were to just say something, I think it's, oh, well, I know what it is. It's 5.4, to be honest, but <laughs> I was just thinking about it. So, he has, so we have... 0.5 kilometers to catch into him, basically. So he has definitely a lot of space. Okay, well, it's a freezing, so we're chilling, I guess. Um, what I'm going to do now is actually smoke up right here, which could be seen as pretty bad. But I don't think it's too bad, to be honest. I think it's a fine, fine smoke. I think it's a wonderful smoke. Might be the best smoke ever, right? So we're going to take a smoke here. Oh, shit. The Kagura spotted. We can actually shoot it. Uh, Kagura's dead, actually, to Karno. Look, look what the... Look what the Kagero is doing, man. Look what the... Look at it! <laughs> um, let's see what we can do. I hope the, the Karno is hydrating him, but I don't think he has enough 
Hide a range, maybe? I don't know. Torpedo's behind us, that's okay. Since everything is dark, we can actually open up on the... Well, I was gonna say open up on the jump bar, but he instantly goes dark. But he's instantly spotted again. So we're gonna be opening up on him again. Now, what's nice about the Z46 is we do have enough penetration to pen him everywhere, which is super nice for us. Because we can pretty much just get damage wherever we shoot him. Now, you might be wondering, why am I not running at the Friesland with my Z46 here? Because he has Hydro and I would be spotted in front of a jump bar. Obviously, he would be spotted in front of a car, no. But I don't really want to suicide for damage yet. We have to save our HP for later in the matches. So, I don't really want to take excessive damage to a jump bar for no reason. Okay, maybe we'll damage the Friesen. But I could always die too before we kill the Friesen. And the Friesen could walk away. So you just gotta be a bit cautious in, the, in this regard, you know? Alright, so there's a the Friesen. I think we can open up on him right now. Because, well, I don't know. I guess we just can. Um, he's quite... Well, he's taking quite a lot of damage. I don't think he'll die right now, actually. We're gonna have to take it. We're gonna have to go dark here, because I don't want to die. The thing is, when the freezing smoke runs out, he's kind of caught in the open between me and Akitakaze. Oh, there he is, actually. He just got spotted. Because he's on fire. And obviously now he's shooting, so let's just try eliminate him with Akitakaze. Try to minimize the damage taken by angling to the jump bar as much as possible. He, the jump bar did shoot us, so we have to keep that in mind. Here's the shells, we're okay, we dodged that. Friesen obviously has no torps. Well, actually, I, I've been saying this a lot, and I saw a YouTube, only one YouTube comment about it, but... Um, I, apparently, I used the word obviously a bit too much. Maybe it's just I'm assuming maybe you guys know, like, sh certain ships and what they have. Like, Friesen has no torps, for example. Maybe I shouldn't use the word obviously, because it maybe... It's a bit too much for you guys, I guess, because maybe some of you guys don't know that Friesen doesn't have torps. Well, maybe I should try not use that word. It's just kind of ingrained into me now that I'm using the word obviously a lot. And even even the word honestly, you guys are very offended about these two words. Maybe I should try to use less, less of those words. I will try my best to improve my vocab in the future, okay? I will try my best, but I cannot promise you for the end of this video that it will improve. Right, but I will, I will try my best in the future to present to you a, a superior vocabulary. And I will try. But anyway, so here we have a Sharn Horse. Um, Sharn Horse has quite incredible armor, obviously. Oh my god, he said it again. <laughs> okay, jokes aside though. Sharn Horse has quite good armor. It has a lot of armor because, well, I don't know. It just does. I guess it's just German. So they gave it a lot of armor in the game. Uh, that's kind of what it has going for it, to be honest. In terms of its gun power, it's not really too spectacular. Um, 283mm guns, that's not the primary issue of Sharn Horse. I would say it's more its accuracy. But it gets a trade-off of having really good armor. Now, I could shoot this Mahan here, but there is a Roan over there. So I don't really want to do that because, well, he's just going to shoot all his guns at me. So we can just keep the Mahan spotted for our team by walking away from him like this. I could open up, in theory, I could open up on this Roan. But, it's not just opening up on the Roan, which I find crazy. It's, there's a there's a jump bar right here we have to keep in mind. There's also a Sharn Horse gonna come around this corner. And we're gonna have the Roan and the Mahat shooting us. So I don't really want to poke the beast, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't wanna just open up here in the middle of, like, everyone and die instantly. Anyway, jump bars here. We're gonna wait for him to shoot. Maybe we open up, maybe we won't. Honestly, this is just not a situation where we want to open up on. I don't like this position. I think fighting jump bars... Okay, Mahan dies instantly. That's okay. The jump bar. But the thing with fighting jump bars is they can reload boost you, which is the thing I don't like here in this situation. I don't want to fight him and get reload boosted twice and just lose 50% of my remaining HP or something. Or... Worse, I just die. I don't want to do that. I'm going to wait for a more mm, prime opportunity to engage him. Maybe here, because he just shot. We're going to engage him with our German AP. Now, the AP on this thing isn't too bad, honestly. You can actually use it quite well. Oh, he's second respect, it seems. Let's try to minimize 4.8k, as you saw there. Sorry, I missed it a bit. But we can get quite a lot of damage. Oh, wow. We're taking quite a lot of damage as well, actually. We gotta be careful. We gotta double fire with HE. Minimize our profile by angling away. 
Alright, Jump Bar gave up on us. Perfect. We're gonna proc the Lugin's reload buff, which is gonna help us out quite a lot here. Now, as you see, the smoke cooldowns between smokes is immense. So we've been waiting for 25 years to get a smoke out. It's, it's incredible how long we've been waiting for the smoke. Now, I don't remember using our second smoke. I remember using our first smoke. Oh my... This is what I mean. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. Now, obviously, we made a mistake by turning full broadside and giving him as much angle as possible. Oh my god, the Albemarle turned in. That is so bad for me. That is so bad for me. Why, you think? Well... There's an Albumar running at me, and I have nothing to basically save me from him, right? Um, actually, do you think he's gonna turn away and let me live? If he turns away here, I have the grand opportunity of living forever. Um, which is nice, because he's not gonna run into Hydra range. Maybe he isn't even running Hydra, which would be super safe here for me. But anyway, he dies. I'm quite lucky there, guys, because if he was running Hydra, i definitely die there. For sure. Um, now, I would say that I haven't played this match to a prime example or how I wanted to play it to be honest I kind of wanted to farm the Sharn horse more I kind of wanted to farm the the JB more if possible it just those opportunities didn't come for us but that's okay things like this happen games like this do happen and that's the thing with a series like this is I'm gonna show you the, the game how it comes right I log in I play one game and no matter how the game outcome is I will show you that match um, obviously some of them will be really high damage games like my Ragnar video for example I showed you a 325,000 damage Ragnar game which was pretty good and a 200k right after it but those are literally how they came by the way and this one might be well sub 100k which would be pretty bad I must say in, in Z46 that's actually way below my average and I will show you my average damage in this ship because it's honestly this one's one of my favorite destroyers in the game um, it's just a really good ship overall. It's the hydro, it's the speed, it's the concealment. Um, it, it's the guns, the firepower, the the pen you get, the HE pen, the improved HE pen you get with with HE. It's it's all. It just makes up for a really good ship. It makes a really good ship. Um, you can fight. You can f do your part. You can fight the enemy team quite well. You have the tools for it. It's an awesome ship. You have torps too if you need. If someone's rushing you or something. I don't know. Um, you have the torps, so it's like basically freezing, you know? Except with torps, obviously less DPM, sure, 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 sure. But you have pen, which is super nice. To me, the ship is a gunboat. Or a hybrid. You can call it a hybrid because it has somewhat usable torps. But to me, it's a gunboat, mentally, you know? Because the guns are just good. Now, the arcs aren't wonderful or anything. They can't have everything, right? You have arcs and alpha and, and the alpha is really low too, I guess. So, but you can't have everything because if you have everything, well, what's balance? Go for you. Hey, we got 100k. Still quite low. For my Z46 average at least. But at least I won't get to show you a sub 100k game, I guess. <laughs> no. Can I kill the Georgia? Probably not. There's only like... A few seconds left remaining in the match. And they are running from us, unfortunately. It is what it is. But... And we got a fire. I think the game's gonna end, though, before he dies. Maybe we can kill one of them if they get Citadel or something. Or get smashed, like, before the game ends. Oh, the Hipper died, for example. That gives us extra time to kill something. We actually could save our damage here somehow, guys. Which would be quite incredible. Oh... Sadly, the Georgia did die. That means there's not a lot of time left in the game. But we're gonna get quite close to our average, I must say. So not too bad of a game either way. Plus, we ended up getting four kills. But we'll take a look at the score shortly when the game ends. Alright, so we ended up getting 112,000 damage, 288 shell hits, four kills, six fires, one cap, and two in-caps. In terms of team score... We ended up getting top of the team with 2024 base XP, which isn't quite bad. It's not bad at all, actually. In terms of detailed report, as you can see, we got 57k on the jump bar, 12k on the rune, 10k on the album model, 10k on the freeze then, and then less than 10k on each target. We shot the remaining ones. We took ourselves 21,000 damage. Um, we did get smashed by the JB quite hard. Um, if we check, we got smashed for 8k, I believe, in that one salvo, which hurt me quite a lot. Mentally, physically, and emotionally. 
but it's okay. <laughs> um, we have, obviously, damage caused to ships over here on the left-hand side, as you can see. 70,000 from HE, 24,000 from AP, and 17k from fires. Um, credits and XP, we got 359,000 credits, 12,000 XP, 1,300 free XP, and 14,000 commander XP. Now, that's with a premium bonus, I think, or whatever it's called nowadays. A bonus package, but yeah. Um, so for my commander build again, I'm running Preventative Maintenance, Last Stand, Survivability Expert, Concealment Expert, Adrenaline Rush, Main Battery and A Expert, Main Battery and A Specialist, and Grease the Gears. In terms of my equipment, I'm running Main Battery Mod 3, Concealment System Mod 1, Prop Mod 1, Aiming System Mod 1, Engine Boost Mod 1, and Main Armaments Mod 1. Now you could, instead of running what I run, you could run, you could remove AFT or main battery and A expert, you could run SI instead, you could run Torp Reload, you could run extended duration on speed boost and hydro, for example. You could take all these things, you could take RPF, you could do whatever you want. But this is what I'm running right now, it's a build I can average well, the damage I do in this ship. So yeah, and let's take a look at my profile. For the Z46, my, my statistics in it. I'm gonna have to find it, guys, so... So bear in mind, I do have to find it. Now, I'm not that good at finding things. Here it is. Found it. All right, so I have 139 games in it. Remember, though, I had the original Z46 as well. I played it around 40 games. So 40 of those games, I was averaging like 65k before the buff because I didn't used to play it. I just grinded really fast. Like I wasn't that good at the game either. But after those 40, 40 games, they buffed it. I went back to Z46 and I buffed the average from 65,000 to 116,000. Um, as you can see, my average damage is 116k in a tier 9 destroyer. That's really high. 69k, sorry, 69% win rate as well. Quite good. Um, this ship is a wonderful ship. I think it's amazing. Um, you can farm quite good damage, especially with this build. This build can farm quite good damage um, in it. So I must say, very good damage farming ship. Surprising. Some of you may not know about that in the tech tree. That's why I'm showing you this video about it. Um, it's obviously available in the tech tree. I say obviously because I showed you already at the start, guys. <laughs> Forgive me. But look, so tech tree, we go down Hermelin, Dresden, then the V25, we go up to Ged, Mass, Z23, and Z46. Here it is in the tech tree. So you can get it at tier 9 over there. And that's pretty much the Z46 overall. Um, now, for final thoughts on it, or just a, a basic. How good is it? I think it's a wonderful ship. It's a great destroyer for tier 9. Maybe it's not the best destroyer for combat tier 9 because it's not that used either. Because there's other ships, for example, Neustrashimi at this tier. And, and USS Black. And Mogador. These ships make just do better roles in just different ways. This ship, though, is at 46 as a random ship. It's wonderful. Honestly, it's a great ship. Speed. Concealment. Hydro. Um... Guns, HP pool, it's all wonderful. Now, obviously, it's big and easy to hit. You have to keep that in mind when you're playing it. But it is not slow at all, so you can rotate if you really need to. And so, basically, what I'm saying is, this ship is a great ship. It's a free ship. So if you really want a tier 9 gunboat that's free, that maybe isn't Mogador type, or you want a different one, which is, can farm really good damage. This is definitely a hidden gem in the game. Not a lot of people talk about this at 46. I'm going to be honest. That's what I noticed. But um, ever since they buffed it. Maybe I believe it was a year and a half ago. In like June 2020. I believe. It's been incredible. Um, obviously you have Z44 as a tier 9. But this one is not a gunboat. This one's specifically a torp boat guys. And then on the other hand you have ZF6. Which is also a gunboat. This one's quite good. But it's not available anymore. Z46 has honestly kind of like almost the best of both worlds, but it has Hydro. Neither ZF6 or Z44 has Hydro, so that's quite important to mention. So this ship's a wonderful ship. If you're ever going to grind the Z52 line, definitely keep in mind the Z46. This ship is incredible. I think it's actually better than the Tier 10. Tier for Tier, definitely better than the Tier 10, because especially since the guns are on the back. The guns are on the back, which means you can kite and still have the majority of your firepower available to you which is super nice and not a lot of people talk about this either now anyway guys if you want me to cover another ship in a tech trials or fresh look or um sorry <laughs> sorry uh so if you wanted me to cover another ship in the tech trials fresh look or the thought process videos guys please let me know in the comments below 
Also, do let me know about the video quality, guys. Is it good? 1440p for those of you who can run it. Let me know. It's 2022 now. Maybe most of you or some of you do have 1440p monitors. Maybe it can. you can be happy now that you can run the video at 1440p. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And big fan. And I hope you enjoyed.